Welcome to another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm your host, you guessed it, Mike Page. Um, today we'll be drawing some vintage aircraft, uh, so grab some paper and a pencil or a pen and follow along. All right, so to start off, this is going to be a World War II airplane. To start off, I'm going to make a rounded letter L. However, before you make that, notice that it's not, um, this is flat and the L is kind of tipped over so the airplane will be um, pitched upwards slightly. So you don't want your airplane sitting totally flat, you're going to want it at a slight angle upward. Then I'm going to make a line at the top of this so that the overall thing is sort of a letter C that's been squared off a bit. And I'm just going to bring it back a little bit more. This is going to be a very um, cartoonized airplane, so it's the overall thing will only be about this long. I'm not going to stretch it out and make the authentic plane. This is going to be a shorter one. Uh, next, I'm going to make another line up. So this is all the engine area up here. The propeller will be right in front here. And then I'm going to make a slight continuation of this top line heading back towards the cockpit. And next I'm going to come up and make two little lines sticking out for where the propeller will be. And then close that off. And then sort of a rounded letter C poking out the front there for the front of the propeller. Next I'm going to make a letter U that is very stretched out for the propeller blade. So I'm coming down, it's a very tight letter U and head right back in. And the next one will be slightly behind that and coming right back up. And then we're going to make one more that's heading upward instead. So this one's coming up and back down. I tried to make them all about the same size. Uh, next I'm going to put a few little rivets along here. So just little dots where the engine area meets with the rest of the plane. And then I'll make a very slight line right there. I don't want to come too far back because that's where the wing is going to be. So next I'll go ahead and make that wing. Um, we're going to start with a slight curve coming out like that. And then as we head across, you're going to want it to follow this line here. So you'll want it to be pretty parallel to however you made that line. And then I'm going to come up like this. Now here's where there's a little bit of guesswork involved. Um, basically you want to be, if you're doing it in pencil, you can very lightly go like this and continue this line across. If you're doing it in pen, just kind of with your eye trace a line across and make sure that this wing comes up to just above where that line would intersect. Now, from just below where that line would cut through, I'm going to come like this and up. And then where the wing actually meets the plane, we're going to go like that. And again, you want this part to be 
parallel to what you're picturing that doing. Behind the plane, uh, be, excuse me, behind the wing here, I'm going to start to curve this line. And then we'll have it start to come up like that. Uh, next, I'm going to leave a small space for the cockpit that's pretty much above the wing area. And then I'm, I'm looking at this overall shape here, and I want it to be sort of torpedo shaped. Um, so this part here is going to be coming down about like that. And the other tricky part is you, you want it to make sense where, <laughs> where it's still centered, um, where it's all proportionate. All right, then I'll make a line for the tail here. Again, ideally this line is going to be parallel to what you did over here. So you definitely want this tail wing following the same basic line that the other one is at. Otherwise your plane will not fly very well. And then I'm going to close that shape off. Next I'm going to, going to come up for the cockpit so it's kind of a broken up U shape over here. And then just above that I'm going to make the same line. This will be the metal at the bottom of the glass of the cockpit. I guess they were probably plexiglass, but I'm not sure. Plastic maybe. Uh, then we're going to make kind of a pointed, normally the airplane cockpit would not be quite this pointed, but I warned you at the beginning we were making this cartoonish. So it's going to be kind of pointy like that. And then on the near side of the cockpit, I'm going to come up to that point. This is a piece of metal that goes over the top to give it structure. And then since this cockpit glass is clear, you'll be able to see it on the other side as well. So we'll have the <coughs> metal coming down over there also. Then if you'd like, you can add um, some little scribbles here for like shadows on the glass. And then we'll give it the tail rudder. So I'm going to come up like this and then out. And then we'll swoop it back down. Then up here, you're going to make the number five without the line going across it. So I'm going to just do that. You can kind of see a number five hidden within there. There's a number five. And then we're just going to come down sort of in between those two lines. And then I'm just going to kick the pen out a couple times like this along the back of the tail fin. And we can give our plane some landing gear. So I'll make a nice circle here for a wheel. And inside of that circle I'm going to make another circle. 
So, so far we've made the tire. And then if you put a little dot, that's where the axle will be. And then up and to the left of that one, we're going to make another circle that's hopefully just as circular as the first one. But that wheel is facing away from you, and you can just shade it in because it's going to be underneath the plane and in the shadow anyway. And I'm going to color in my tire on this wheel. One of the first things I learned how to draw as a kid was airplanes. My dad used to um, show me how to... His basic airplane, for anybody that's a super beginner, this is probably what I was drawing when I was like four or five. This was my favorite thing to draw right here. Ready? So you've got a circle with a dot in the middle. Scribbles in towards it. That's the propeller coming straight at you. Tail fin. And a straight line going across. That's how my dad would draw airplanes. And we would make like dog fights on the paper. We had a blast doing it. Um, all that's left on this first airplane that we were making is a small rectangle at the back here. And then just underneath it and behind it, we're going to put a small circle for the rear wheel and a line coming down. So this is like the advanced version of my dad's uh, dogfight planes that we would do on paper. If you are bored at home th today, draw some dogfights, make more planes, have them battling. You'll be entertained for hours. Um, next I'm going to add a little bit of shading down along the bottom of the plane. And to do that I'm just going to kind of scribble up from the bottom. Um, at a slight angle. Kind of like that. And then to make this an American plane, I'm going to put a circle back here. With a rectangle over here and a rectangle over there. It's basically a long rectangle with a big circle interrupting it. And then inside of that I'm going to make a star. Uh, if you're coloring this in with marker or crayons or anything like that, this this part that I'm filling in black right here is actually blue, nice navy blue. And then you'd have red over here, just like the flag. And I think there's actually a thin outline of red around the whole thing. Uh, and then you can put a shadow underneath your plane if you want it to be sitting on the ground. If it's up in the air already, don't make this shadow. It's your call. If you're going to have it in the middle of a dogfight, don't make a shadow so close underneath it because your plane, hopefully, if it's in a dogfight, is still up in the air. If it is not, you lost. All right, and there's the shadow for where the propeller is. And then I'll make a little horizon line back here. So my plane is ready for takeoff. All that's missing is you in the cockpit ready, ready to go. I'm going to make a slight curve here on the end of the wing just to make it a little more 3D. Uh, and then you could also add a lot of the old planes had little, um, not entirely sure what this was, but it's a little tether back here that would tie in with the 
tail rudder. I'm assuming it just gave more stability, but I'm not sure. Here is our finished World War II plane. I hope you enjoyed following along. Um, if this one seemed a little too difficult for you, make a whole bunch like this, like my dad showed me how to do. Um, you'll be off to the races. You can have some fun dog fights. Um, don't forget to draw in the battle. Uh, you can have uh, um, army tanks on the ground and stuff too. You can add all kinds of stuff to it.